गुड मॉर्निंग सर कैन आई स्टार्ट सर आर शेल वी वेट इट सर आ जस्ट 5 मिनट सर Good morning, my dear students. Uh, welcome to Cyber Shiksha training on cyber security applications using Python programming. So far, we have completed five modules. Today, I am going to explain uh, sixth module uh, called uh, Network Security. 
So the first module is introduction to cyber security. Second module is Python programming, computer networks, cloud computing, information security, and network security. And followed by the cryptography, application security, security auditing, cyber forensics, mobile security, ethical hacking, and followed by the real time applications. Uh, and uh, list of projects okay and uh, uh, the, in the first module we have covered what are the fundamentals and uh, uh, components of cyber security and uh, workflow of cyber security fundamentals of information security threats attack categories and hacking and followed by the cyber security controls, introduction to network security, introduction to identity and access management, introduction to cyber forensics, introduction to application security, introduction to data, data center, cloud security. In Python programming, I have completed what are the variables, data types, basic mathematics, operator precedence, string operations, functions, conditional statements, classes and objects, Python collections, arrays, sets, list, tuples, dictionaries, loop statements, file operations, exceptions, standard library like NumPy, SciPy, Panda, Scikit-learn, Matplotlib, Natural Language Toolkit, TensorFlow, Keras, and PyTorch. Then uh, in the third module, computer networks I have completed. Introduction to computer networks, types of computer networks, OSI layers, open source interconnection layers, seven layers called physical layer, data link layer, network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation layer, application layer. The short form is PDN, PSP. Then cloud computing, I have completed cloud computing, all the concepts like introduction to cloud computing, characteristics of cloud computing, types of cloud, services of cloud computing, cloud architecture, virtualization, cloud, cloud security, and followed by the important number one clouds in the uh, case studies of cyber uh, case studies of cloud computing under software as a service, salesforce.com, under platform as a service, MS Azure, under infrastructure as a Amazon Azure. And the last but one, I have explained the information security. Uh, in this information security, I have completed the topics like introduction to information security, confidentiality, integrity, availability, components of information security, types of information security, principles of information security, layers of information security, applications, advantages, disadvantages, challenges. Okay, so these are the uh, network se uh, information security concepts I have completed. Then followed by the, today I am going to explain network security. Okay, so <clears throat> these are the remaining concepts, applications, projects, and uh, okay. so this is the sixth module I am going to start. After that, I am going to take from you presentations and uh, whatever the homework I have explained that uh, I am going to uh, take from you. So what is meant by network security? why we are using network security and what is the fundamental concepts of network security and the network and their vulnerabilities, network security measures, intrusion detection and prevention system, implementation of a firewall, security information and event management and that is called SIEM, advantages and disadvantages and followed by the challenges. So today I am going to explain the sixth module called New Subject Network Security. First of all, you must know what is meant by network. 
so network is a network of network is a interconnected between the computers maybe lan wan metropolitan area network so connection between the computers is called network maybe local area network metropolitan area network and wide area network then what is meant by security security means to protect the data or information so now now see the definition of network security is a set of technologies that protects the usability and the integrity of a company's infrastructure we need to protect the company's infrastructure by preventing entry or proliferation within a network of wide variety of potential threats there are various uh, threats of uh, uh, uh real time environment in order to protect the company's data company's uh, infrastructure uh, company's uh, sensitive data okay so that is the um, aim of network security it is important because it keeps a sensitive data that means we are protecting sensitive data of companies uh, any organization data say from from cyber attacks or cyber uh, uh, cyber criminals malicious attacks and ensures the network is usable and trustworthy network is usable and trustworthy so that is the aim of network security so successful network security strategies employ multiple security solutions to protect users and organizations from malware and cyber attacks like distributed denial service that is called do uh, dos okay distributed denial of service then uh, network secu- i will explain now uh, what uh, what is meant by distributed denial of service cyber attacks and malware okay so network security consists of the policies some rules and regulations processes and practices adopted to prevent the data sensitive data to detect sensitive data and monitor unauthorized access misuse modification or denial of a computer network and network accessible resources so it consists of some rules and regulations and uh, the final aim of this network security is to prevent the sensitive data to detect the threats okay then uh, if you see the diagram what is network security so it is the actions taken or procedures followed to protect the computer network information that is called a sensitive data information so from the various uh, cyber attacks like uh, uh, ddos we need to protect we need to protect companies uh, sensitive data by applying various uh, cyber security uh, tools and techniques to prevent the sensitive information so through network uh, you can see the access control user authentication firewalls distributed denial of prevent protection data loss prevention browser isolation see these are the uh, uh, these are the a uh, process uh, tools and techniques that we need to use to protect sensitive data that is called a network security network security is the actions see uh, taken or procedures followed followed by access control user authentication firewalls distributed denial of service and data loss prevention browser isolation we are to protect the in computer networks so what is meant by computer networks 
computer network is nothing but collection of interconnected autonomous computers in a network in the fashion of local area network, head area network and metropolitan area network. The network security land works. Network security land works is nothing but it specializes in security assessments, education, integration, monitoring and incident recovery for a wide array of enterprise environments that is the work done by the landworks so why we are using landworks local area networks that is called landworks it specializes specializes in security assessments what happened what type of threat attack what is the qualification how do you integrate how do you monitor it? and how do you use uh, incident recovery for a wide array of uh, enterprise environments? If you see the diagram, you come to know Landworks, what it is does, the functionalities of Landworks. It is uh, protecting email security and it protects the server protection and data protection cloud services applications, any type of uh, application connected to the internet that is called cloud services application, network protection, any type of network protection, mobile security and uh, email security. So these are the functionalities of uh, LAN works, network security uh, consists of email security, mobile security, server protection and the data protection, cloud services application, network protection. These are the uh, functions done by the LAN works. Keep in mind. Then followed by the what are the operations of network security. So there are various uh, operations. Uh, before going to explain operations, let me explain the network security, what it does exactly. It is a business network security consists of the rules, protocols, technologies, processes and configurations in place to secure sensitive data and protect the information the accessibility and the integrity of computer networks. So that is the aim of uh, network security. It protects them from hacking, misuse, uh, cyber criminals attacks, okay, and malicious attacks and unauthorized changes. So in order to perform uh, various operations of network security, uh, we are using uh, analyze analyze the what type of attack happened and uh, what is the plan of uh, to remove to protect uh, sensitive data to design in order to protect uh, we are design uh, a network which can be protect our sensitive data and the implementation and the operation operate and ongoing training. These are the six operations of network security. What it uh, operations does? First, uh, operations means some action, some function to specific uh, uh, task. That is called operation. Maybe planning network security. Maybe designing, analyze, implement, operate and uh, train. Then types of network security, we are having various types of uh, uh, network security called uh, there are six types, mm -hmm. email security. For email means electronic mail, you are using in, the, uh, in your laptop or system or server, how you are protecting email security. What type of uh, antivirus software you are using whenever uh, you are using internet? 
may be internet security related software, email security related software or any firewalls are you using that is called comes under email security. Mobile security, in a mobile there are various uh, security apps are present but some apps are uh, uh, they are uh, misguiding, misuse like that and uh, some apps uh, uh, some apps are good for uh, mobile security other to protect your sensitive data uh, mobile security softwares we are installing and protecting our data and apps of protecting our apps then access control if you are authorized person uh, you need to have a correct a little degraded area so that uh, uh, we are we have uh, Shastak, um, uh, college you have a cabinet details are to the sqld correct credentials uh, so that you can enter in the time box are explained then firewalls firewall is a software in order to protect unwanted websites unauthorized access it can stop anti malware malware is a virus or virus it is a software virus what type of anti malware softwares we are using in our system or server or data center then the data protection for data protection, what type of uh, security mechanisms we are using? So, in order to protect the sensitive data from the computer, from the uh, in computer from the cyber attacks, cyber criminals, malicious attacks, etc. How, uh, what type of uh, software mechanisms we are using? Then network security life cycle. Network security life cycle consists of uh, it provides a customized security assessment of the applications, uh, Internet of Things, collection of real time objects in a network devices, maybe sensors, cameras, other special devices, vulnerabilities, threats, and risks in your environment. So, what is the Network security life cycle review. So it provides customized security assessment of the applications, IoT devices, vulnerabilities, threats, and risks in your environment. If you see that there are seven steps of a network security life cycle, the first one is a planning. We are planning to establish what type of network we need to have in our organization then uh, uh, then second one is a policy enforcement and implementation so in order to uh, protect our sensitive data this network security life cycle consists of how do you implement the rules and regulations that is called a policy enforcement and implementation then third one is a monitor and a manage. You need to monitor uh, how many users are connected to our network and uh, uh, how many users are accessing our data, how many users are uh, uploading the data, how many users are uh, performing the any tasks internet level. So that is called monitor and uh, manage. And the fourth uh, uh, element of uh, network security life cycle is intrusion detection. Is there any chance of entering intruders into our network? We need to detect. What type of uh, threats attacked in our network level? What type of uh, uh, threats, what type of malware attack, what type of uh, um, cyber criminals entered into our network we need to detect that is called intrusion detection then fifth one is a security assessment security assessment is nothing but network uh, uh, what type of uh, 
and what level of security we are using in our network level, whether we are using firewalls, whether we are using any type of security mechanisms or tools or techniques, etc. Then sixth one is a risk analysis. So once a threat happened in our network level, what type of risk, what type of threat, what type of malware attack, what type of criminal attack, maybe DDoS, distributed denial of service, okay, and various types of analysis we are performing what type of security mechanism we are using, what type of threat activity happened, and the like various kinds of analysis. Then the last one is a network security life cycle element is security policy and creation. Security policy means what type of uh, uh, rules and regulations we are following in the network First rule is uh, whether you are authorized person, how do we can check with the help of credentials. Once you have given correct credential, you are entering into the network level. After that, we are uh, providing uh, uh, authorization uh, to you to get privileges to access your own information in the network level. So that is called security policy creation. And the second concept I am going to explain in this network security. There are total six concepts are presented. Networks and their vulnerabilities. So what is network and what type of vulnerabilities we are going to discuss in this is a network security. Network is a connection of interconnected between the autonomous computers, maybe local area network, wide area network. So, Connection between the computers is called network. Vulnerabilities come in many ways, many forms. Vulnerabilities mean some errors, some attacks, some viruses. Uh, but the most common types of malware. Malware is a virus, is a type of virus. Short, short for malicious software, such as Trojans viruses and worms that are installed on a user's machine or a host server. So most, uh, most common types are, you can call it as vulnerabilities or malware. Vulnerabilities or malware. See here, what type of uh, uh, vulnerabilities you can find out uh, uh, if this uh, 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 network level vulnerabilities. vulnerabilities. So malware is a one kind of software and uh, you can call it as a example Trojan virus and followed by the worms. Virus is a vital information and, uh, resource under seas. So these are the three types of uh, vulnerabilities you can expect in these networks and their vulnerabilities that are installed on a user's machine or server or a data center. So social engineering attacks fool users into giving them personal information such as username and password. So usually uh, cyber attackers or cyber criminals they are attacking on a very loosely coupled users like uh, you can call it as a uh, uh, social engineering attacks for users. So initially they are the, uh, getting personal information such as username and password. The common types of network attacks I have explained already like uh, malware, okay, you can call it as a malware. Malware is a just like a, a malicious software. Is a, uh, it is a software error, the it is. Examples like uh, unauthorized access and uh, distributed denial of service that is called DDoS means continuously attackers are attacking on your system until unless you 
you you tell the your username and password. Uh, then uh, man in the middle attacks. You can call it as they are entering in in the middle of uh, uh, your work. Intruders. Code and SQL injection attack. Means structure query language. There is a database of your system, a server, a data center. Through queries, through queries, I am attacking on your database and getting the user username and password. Okay. Then privilege escalation means you need to get the username and password. That is called a privilege escalation in order to access your data in the network level uh, privileges whether you are authentic authenticated person or not it is going to uh, explain insider threats what type of attacks happened in the network level okay at the server level so through browser and brute force and denial of service warm malware web scan these are the common types of uh, network attacks common types of uh, network attacks or it is these are the common types of network attacks okay and uh, these are the network and their vulnerabilities then coming to the common network security threats i have explained see the first one lack of path management lack of patch management okay Suppose uh, you have installed license in the operating system. Some individuals they are sending patches. Uh, please update it when the Windows operating system is updated. So automatically they are entering into your network level and stealing the sensitive data. That is called a lack of patch management. Outdated firewalls. If you are using outdated firewalls. outdated antivirus software immediately even botnets immediately they are entering into our network never easily then uh, they are stealing our sensitivity then insider privilege misuse so some intruders are entering into our network level and uh, they are uh, stealing our uh, uh, sensitivity Lack of data backup. Suppose you are not keeping your backup in the database or a data center, so network secure security vulnerabilities can happen easily. Social engineering attack. So they are attacking on your Facebook uh, uh, user credentials in order to uh, take your username and password of social network and. Uh, that is called social engineering attack lack of spam and email security so sometimes they are sending uh, spam means a group of mails you are uh, getting with help of uh, uh, attackers so what type of uh, uh, that uh, uh, that security comes under the uh, malware and email security attack then poor and weak password sometimes as a indians we are keeping india 1 2 3 passwords like very simple passwords abc 1 2 3 and uh, xyz you are keeping such a small passwords cyber attackers are easily attacking your network or system or server and uh, uh, that is called poor and weak passwords unmanaged physical devices means we don't have permission to access and we don't know how to protect our data in server and the data center level then intruders will enter into your network very easily and they are going to uh, steal their uh, personal data it is called unmanaged physical devices these are the common security threats and if you see few more vulnerabilities in networks uh, like vulnerabilities in traditional networks like uh, you can call it as uh, ip spoofing ip internet mm. protocol spoofing in same website mm. they are creating 
and uh, mm. you are giving a, mm. your username and password immediately they are attacked yes, into your network then intrusion yeah, and the 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 and uh, software attacks software related uh, vulnerabilities management uh, complexity this uh, denial of service mm. distributed denial of service sure. these are the attacks mm. roja hops పాస్వర్డ్ <laughs> so that is called network access control how do you are managing then data loss prevention so once you entered into your network how you are protecting your data and how you are protecting your sensitive data by using the various network softwares and in email softwares then email security so in the if whenever you are connecting to the internet so automatically you are in danger zone that's why better what type of email security softwares you are using wireless security whenever you are connected to the wireless fidelity wifi uh, free wifi because they are stealing your sensitive data they are giving free wifi that means once you are entering into your uh, Uh, social engineering websites like facebook whatsapp gmail they are storing your details in their server that is called the wireless security then mobile device security whenever you are connecting to uh, internet uh, uh, in your mobile so automatically uh, it searches for local area uh, wifi facility or any kind of uh, uh, mobile uh, apps for using sensitive data or uh, uh, important apps related to banks uh, and uh, how you are going to use your uh, security mechanisms in the mobile device security then the last one is network access control so network access control means once you are a authorized person then they are allowing you to the system by using your username and password that is called a network access next the third one is yeah, network so security yeah, not in the class so in the network level you are asking for the class to measure the data how yes, much no, data okay, is uploading okay, how much data is downloading okay, so network yeah, security yeah, measures yeah, are yeah, the tools and techniques tools and technologies okay. such as firewalls and intrusion prevention system so that are added to a network to secure it so why we are using this network security measures so in order to protect in order to secure your data at the network level so what are the measures measures or nothing but tools and technologies you are using tools and technologies such as firewalls it is very important one it is a tools and the techniques tools and technologies you are using such as firewalls and the intrusion detection you can call it as firewalls and the intrusion prevention system that are added in a network uh, to secure it so that is called a internet uh, intrusion prevention system here are the six essential measures need to keep your network like uh, uh, you can call it as uh, those are the six essential measures in tools and technologies such as firewalls and ips system so first one is a keep it form we need to know what type of uh, what type of measure we are using what type of tool and what type of technology and what type of firewall what type of uh, ips we are using so that is called keeping 
platform. Then educate your team. We need to educate our uh, team members of the in the network. So uh, you need to be uh, take care of your uh, uh, your credentials. Don't enter into public places or public networks. Okay, and the spoofing websites, IP spoofing. Don't uh, enter the uh, which is not authorized. Which is uh, which is not authorized and unauthorized. How you you segregate by using HTTP? Yes means security. If it is there is no yes means you are you are using wrong URL. Uh, no avenues, no avenue of attack means new direction. Avenue means future direction. New. No avenue of attack under preempt preempt. So what type of uh, attack is happening and what type of uh, uh, cyber attack may be happening like that. Okay. Then you can see the install antivirus and other security programs. Yes, we need to install antivirus software in order to protect our sensitivity. Then uh, yeah, other security programs like uh, firewalls, antivirus software. Then make sure your system is physically secure. How do you measure uh, your system is secure? So whenever you are inserting your pen drive, it is automatically identifying how many threads are available in your pen drive. So that is called make sure your system is physically secure. Then test your security. So there is a uh, antivirus software some measuring uh, before uh, uh, using your system you can check how many vulnerabilities, how many viruses are presented in your system. You can test your uh, security with the help of uh, antivirus software or any firewalls or any kind of uh, uh, tool subject. Then about the author means who is the administrator or who is the author of the system or server or data system. So these are the seven measures. You can call it as a seven measures we are using. Okay. So we are using seven measures of uh, security security measures. Seven, seven essential measures. Uh, needed to keep your network safe. So that is called uh, uh, network security measures. Then uh, these are the top 10 network security tips we are using. Be aware of phishing attacks, biometric identifications. Whenever you are giving, uh, if it is an authenticated system, you can give you the biometric identification, like the fingerprint recognition and the face recognition comes under the biometric identification. So be aware of phishing attacks means uh, don't uh, open any unauthorized uh, emails. That is called phishing. Password security you need to be, be careful while using your password. Strong password you need to use. Safeguard your data. You need to protect your sensitive data in the system and server level. Mobile savviness. What are the apps you are using in your mobile? You need to be use internet security or mobile security softwares. Manage risks with the internet of things. You need to measure and manage okay, uh, what type of uh, IoT devices you are connected to the internet. Then keep the operating system updated. Every month or uh, every six months you can uh, check your system whether that operating system is updated or not. Then uh, stay informed of current cyber attacks, events and follow precaution measures. We need to follow the network security measures and the tools and techniques. And uh, PSYOPs and uh, you can call it as a any type of uh, uh, operations or uh, 
Smart shopping, whenever you are doing uh, with the credit card transaction or uh, any kind of uh, uh, gadgets you are purchasing through Amazon or Flipkart. Sometimes uh, IP spoofing websites are uh, diverting your uh, uh, website and they are uh, taking your username and password of your network, your credit card information. Then fourth one is intrusion detection and prevention system. So what is meant by ID, IDS and IDPS. Very very important. An intrusion prevention system that is called IPS. Sometimes referred to as an intrusion detection prevention system. That is called IDPS. Okay. So intrusion detection prevention system is a network security technology and a key part of any enterprise security system that continuously monitors network traffic for suspicious activity and takes steps to prevent it. See, suppose uh, somebody entered your username password, you are getting alert the, the mobile. So somebody is entered into your system and please verify your uh, uh, authenticity. That is a suspicious activity and it takes steps to prevent it. So it is called a intrusion detection prevention system or you can call it as a intrusion prevention system. So sometimes referred to as an intrusion detection system. So intrusion detection and prevention are two broad terms describing application security practices used to mitigate attacks and block the new threats. That is called IDPS. Then intrusion detection and prevention system IDS and IPS are designed to alert to ongoing cyber threats and potentially respond to them automatically. So SNOT is an open source, free and lightweight intrusion detection system that is called an IDS software for Linux and Windows to detect emerging threats. So if any new threats came with the help of this SNOT tool, you can identify what type of uh, attack, what type of uh, uh, malicious IP spoofing, etc. Okay. So IPS we can call it as sometimes referred, referred to as an intrusion detection prevention system. This is called IDPS. Okay, IDPS is a network security tool. Especially if you see uh, the intrusion detection system IDS and the intrusion prevention system the differences between uh, uh, IDS and IPS. Keep in mind IDS is nothing but intrusion detection system and uh, you can call it as prevention system. Okay, intrusion prevention system. Now see IDS is a monitoring system that detects suspicious activities and generates alerts when they are detected. So then uh, what is meant by IPS system? Uh, internet uh, intrusion prevention system is a network security tool that continuously monitors a network for malicious activity and takes action to prevent it. That is called the IPS. Now see the differences between IDS and IPS. Uh, in uh, IDS, users or uh, attackers are entering into the system. Uh, through internet they are entering. They are checking whether uh, there is a firewall or not. If firewall is not there, immediately they are 
connecting into our switch. So from that switch you can see the IDS and management system, intrusion monitoring system. Then they are stealing uh, the, our uh, information from the server. So corporate network, they are entering into corporate network or organization network through web user, through email server. So this is the steps of introducing uh, so steps of inclusion detection system IDS is can happen. Whereas inclusion prevention system see here, uh, same as a user uh, through internet is entering, then firewall is checking and the inclusion uh, prevention system is available right now immediately. Then they are entering into the switch then check the management software, management system. See, IPS is directly connected after the five months. Whereas, after that only switch will come. Whereas in IDS, after firewall, there is a switch through which we are checking the IDS and the network management system. Then uh, once corporate network enters, web browser and email server. So this is the intrusion detection system, difference between intrusion prevention systems. Then the last but one, implementation of firewall. A firewall is an essential software or software in network security that is used to prevent unauthorized access to a network. So keep in mind, firewall is an essential software or hardware. Hello. Okay. So, security that is used to, why we are using firewall at the network level, how do you protect the data? How do you secure the data from unauthorized access persons? So, it is used to inspect the incoming and outgoing traffic. Firewall used to monitor how many incoming and outgoing traffic with the help of set of rules to identify okay, and okay. block threats by Sorry, implementing okay. it in software or hardware form. So that is called a firewall. Types of necessary incoming network traffic uh, is appropriate as you can call it as a, a what are the types of necessary incoming network traffic. This is the example appropriate security measures to filter network traffic. Why we are using this uh, incoming network traffic? It measures to filter network traffic. And the potential threats and vulnerabilities to networks and systems. Impact of threats to the stability of systems or networks. These are the types of uh, necessary incoming network traffic. So a firewall may be implemented as a hardware device such as a link, uh, Linkis or Netgear firewall you can buy in an electronic store or in software such as the Windows firewall or the Mac OS firewall. Okay. So, how many types of incoming network softwares are there? Three types. The first one is appropriate, uh, you can call it as a appropriate security mission and you can call it as a, these are the three types of, uh, see, these are the three types of uh, uh, network, I mean necessary incoming network traffic. Okay. Next, next to see, a firewall may be implemented as a hardware device such as a link, Linksys or Netgear. Okay. So, with the help of uh, Linksys, Netgear, we are implementing firewalls with the help of uh, Linksys and the Netgear. Keep in mind, these are the two important uh, firewalls. Okay, we can uh, uh, we can use to protect at the network level. Okay, then uh, such as the Windows firewall or the Mac OS firewall. 
A firewall is a device, sometimes it will be a system, yes, that prevents unauthorized access to a network from external sources. For example, any network that is connected directly to the internet needs some kinds of firewall to protect the entire network from potential intrusions from the internet. You can see example, whoever uh, using internet, so you need to be careful while using, okay, unauthorized, you can call it as. Then uh, your firewall may be implemented using one or more following technologies, proxy server, network address translator that is called NAT, packet filtering, access control list, and a DMZ. These are the various firewall implementation, implementation technologies. So if you see the diagram implementation of firewall, so what it does exactly, it restricting the connectivity across international internal network environments such as those containing sensitive data, preventing authorized access to internal systems and resources. If you see the uh, diagram through internet, whenever you are connecting to the internet, you are in danger. That's why we need to check first firewall. Firewall is a software and uh, it, it predicts or it detects uh, what type of uh, uh, website you are opening, whether it is a malicious software or it, whether it is unauthorized access, it is going to check firewall. Then internal network it checks through switch or through LAN local area network. Then the last topic is security information and the event management that is called SIEM. So it is a security solution that helps organization recognize potential security threats and vulnerabilities before they have the chance to distribute. You can call it as a SIEM, you can call it as a SIEM. Uh, why we are using it? Use security solutions. So whenever uh, uh, whenever attack is happened, so we need to use SIEM, security information and event management. It is a security solution that helps organization to recognize potential security threats, vulnerabilities before they have a chance to use. Security information and event management, that is called uh, SIEM for short. It is a solution that helps organization that is detecting, you can call it as. Okay. Uh, SIEM, see SIEM, SIEM is a solution, you can call it as. SIEM is a solution. Okay. Uh, that helps organizations to detect threats, attacks, analyze and respond to security threats before they harm business operations. So security information and event management is a field within the field of computer security where software products and services combine security information management and security event management. Examples, ESM, and Enterprise Security Management, so AT&T Cyber Security, formerly known as Alien Vault, Fortinet, IBM QRadar, McAfee SIEM, and Splunk. These are the various SIEM tools and techniques we are using. Uh, before uh, getting solutions from the SIEM uh, to help organizations detecting threats, detecting uh, viruses, analyze data and res respond to security threats before the harm business organizations. So these are the security information and the event management. First step, you need to check so SIEM, SIEM is a 
uh, you can call it as a security information event management. So SIEM software products and services are used to combine the data on security information and security events. Okay, security events. First step is log collection, then log analysis. Log collection means when you entered into the laboratory, when you came out of from the laboratory, log collections, record, then log analysis, how many users are entered, how many users are left, event correlation, so what type of event you are performing similar to other, log forensics, anybody enter into the intrusion, then IT com compliance information technology, related governance tools and techniques, app log monitoring, who entered it for app and uh, how do you measure that app, object access auditing, so what type of uh, uh, auditing you are using in the server level or network level. If you see SITM, the solutions you can uh, expect real-time environment, user activity monitoring, dashboards, reporting, file integrity monitoring, system and device log monitoring, and log retention. These are the security information and event management. Same thing I have represented with the help of components and capabilities of SIEM. What are the components and what are the capabilities we are using? See for this SIEM event management system. So if you are using log collection, you are, these are the components and capabilities of SIEM. So I have explained already in this log retention and reporting dashboards and what are the ways to improve network security. This is the last slide of uh, for security, please be concentrate. What are the ways to improve network security? So, train your employees first. What are the tips they need to follow? Uh, train your employees with the help of rules and regulations of the organization. Then keep an eye on software vulnerabilities. Be careful responding to emails. Physically protect your network, use wireless local area networks, improve your passwords and encrypt the entire networks. These are the ways to improve networks. Okay, these are the different ways. Okay, these are the different ways. You can call it as ways to improve networks. Yes, ma'am, we have what are the candidates in WhatsApp group, but out of them only 30 candidates are attending. So, with this one, I am closing the module 6. Very, very, very simple. Yes, ma'am. Module 6, we are moving to the module 7. 30 candidates, only 27 are attending. I'll take the presentation from you. One by one, one by one, I'll call you. I'll take the presentation. Because of network issues, we are living in the middle of the session. So, my dear students, any doubts? Please ask any doubts related to this. No, sir. Okay. Now, uh, who gave a response okay, right now? Ma Some fresher candidates are telling that uh, class are already Adesura completed. Main. Now we are not a master. Noor, Azra. Uh, Noor, please uh, 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 open your screen and present your uh, two slides. Very, I am uh, going to take you your presentation now. Okay. It is assessment, uh, okay. uh, you need to give good presentation so that I will evaluate uh, and finally it will be added to your uh, examination part. Please share your screen. One by one, one by one, I am noting down. Uh, Whoever I Sorry? Uh, I should share the screen. Uh, which PPT should I display, sir? No, five questions you can, yeah, anyone, five questions you need to uh, answer. Sir, anyone? I was no. uh, absent in my last class, I guess, so I have no idea which five questions. Oh, 
I told to somebody, please post that queries in the group chat. Why? Who is that responsible? I, that day I have taken, uh, uh, I have given responsibility to uh, one person for, uh, for newcomers. Diksha has uh, given the questions. Very good. I have seen in the group. And uh, who is the next person, Diksha, that day? She has to... Uh, I told her, uh, please post that five questions. They have to present uh, their presentation. I forgot her name. Is it uh, Nayan? Hello, Nayan. Okay. And uh, Apeksha, I told you to post questions in the group chat. Five questions for e each question, two, two slides I told you. That means ten questions, ten slides. Sorry, five questions, ten slides. Now who is going to share your screen out of 25 members? Sir, I will. Yeah, who is uh, your name? Navesri. 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 Yeah, yeah. I am noting down your name, Navesri. Please share your screen and explain your explanation of five questions. Please do it. Please share your screen. Sir, is it visible? Uh, no, no, please share with me. Share, there is a, a right side. Ah, yeah. Obviously, I think you are sharing. Entire screen you can select, yes. yourself and then I explain uh, your slides. Five questions, please. Now let's restart. Yeah, now let's Please, you can start now. Yeah. Please, introduce, please introduce yourself and uh, start your five questions. Yeah, listen. So good afternoon everyone. I am Navishri. Uh, so uh, today I am giving the presentation on the assignment questions which I have given. Uh, so the first question is uh, what is cyber security and the components of, sorry, concepts of cyber security. So uh, the cyber security means that it's a practice of protecting the critical systems and sensitive information from the dig digital attacks. So the concepts of cyber security are confidentiality, integrity and availability. Confidentiality means uh, the hiding or uh, keeping the data confidentially from thefting. Uh, the meaning of uh, integrity means uh, maintaining the data or information uh, which cannot be modified by the unauthorized persons or the third parties. When come to the availability, it means uh, the information or the data has to be uh, like uh, which has to be accessible by the users to make use of it. So the next questions are uh, next question is what is Python and explain the concepts of Python. So as you all know, Python is a high level interpreted language and it's object oriented programming language and it is developed by the Kudo Van Rossum and the original script of the Python was released in uh, 1991. Uh, so the concepts of Python are built-in variables, uh, like the built-in variables in the sense uh, false, true, break, uh, class, uh, define, if, else, if, like that. 
so the standard libraries uh, and data types and etc so the standard libraries are uh, numpy pandas matplotlib skypy skykit learn uh, so when we come to the data types they are uh, like boolean string list dictionary tuples and the integer sets so the next question is what is computer networking and uh, the concepts of computer networking so the computer networking means that uh, interconnection of the computer devices uh, which can uh, exchange the data with each other so the concepts are switches uh, routers servers client and transmission media so the switches means um, uh, they are the devices uh, which connects the other devices in a network to each other uh, which enabling to uh, exchange the data packets. So the rotor means uh, it connects the two or more packet switched networks or the sub networks. Uh, the server means uh, it is also a device. Uh, it provides the service to the n number of uh, computers called clients. So the clients means uh, clients are the uh, subunits of uh, servers and it's a unit of computer uh, hardware that access a service mode availability by a server as a part of client server mode. Uh, so the transmission media means uh, like a transmission media it's actually a channel uh, it's a channel for communication uh, which will uh, transmit the information from source to the destination the next question is uh, what is cloud computing and the concepts of cloud computing uh, cloud computing means uh, it's a process uh, it's a process of delivering the computing services uh, such as servers, storages, databases, networks and the software. So when we come to the concepts of cloud computing, as you all know, uh, there are three concepts uh, in the cloud computing. That is um, IASS, uh, that means Infrastructure as a Service. And another one is PASS, that is Platform as a Service. SCASS, uh, that means uh, Software as a Service. The next question is, uh, what is Infrastructure Security and its concepts? Uh, okay, the Infrastructure Security means it's a practice actually. Uh, to securing the resource which is deployed in the computer, uh, sorry, cloud environment and with the supporting systems. Uh, so when we come to the uh, concepts of infrastructure security, uh, I have explained about routers and uh, servers before itself. So the remaining is, uh, remaining concepts are firewalls. Firewalls means uh, it's a software uh, or a uh, security device that monitors the incoming or outgoing data uh, and it monitors with the uh, some security policies which the orchid, which organization has before. So the load balancer means uh, it's a process of uh, uh, distributing the workloads uh, with the computing resources in a cloud computing. Uh, the next one is intrusion detection system that is IDS. Uh, uh, IDS uh, enables the security team to uh, detect and respond to the potential threats to its cloud based infrastructure. So the next one is domain name system that is DNS. So this uh, translates the human readable domain to the IP address uh, like a uh, uh, computer uh, uh, it will not get the human readable domains no? so it is going to translate that domain into the IP address uh, and the meaning of uh, storage system and that includes the uh, storage system includes the issues uh, such as uh, network security 
and cyber threats. Uh, so by this, uh, I'm winding up my presentation. Thank you for yes. listening. Uh, very good, uh, Navyasri. Good explanation. The last question is actually information security. It's okay. Uh, you can correct it uh, that last slide. Then uh, you post uh, your uh, uh, five questions uh, uh, slides in the group. Okay. So that I will. Uh, yeah. I will mark. Uh, uh, I will give you ten marks for this assignment, and I will add it to the mark by exam. And next, sure. uh, give a big round of applause to Navyasri. She has done a wonderful presentation of five questions. Next one. I will do it, sir. Priyanka. Uh, Priyanka, please share your screen. on network concepts the topics are cyber security python computer network cloud computing and information security first one is cyber security the definition is that cyber security is the practice of defending computers servers mobile devices electronic system networks and data from malicious attacks there are types of cyber security cyber crime cyber attack and cyber terrorism cyber crime includes single actors or groups targeting system for financial gain cyber attack oftenly involves politi politically motivated information gathering cyber terrorism is intended to undermine uh, electronic system to cause panic or fear uh, here we have a, a main concept in uh, cyber uh, in cyber security that is cia trial it means confidentiality integrity and availability Confidentiality makes sure that only authorized persons are given access to permission to modify data. Integrity helps maintain the trustworthiness of data by having it in the correct state and immune to any improper modifications. Availability means that the author authorized users should be able to access data whenever required. Next is Python. The definition is that Python is a general purpose interpreted high level programming language popularly used for website development, data analytics and automation. Python is currently one of the most popular high level languages. It is simple and easy to learn. It is also a free and open source. It is a portable and interpreted. Major advantage is that it helps us to focus on solution to the problem and not the structure on the syntax of the problem. Here is components of Python architecture and working. Parser. Parser means it is a software component that keeps input data and prints the required uh, input. The parser model is uh, the interface between Python integral parser and by bytecode compiler. Compiler. Python uses the compiler to convert Python code to the intermediate bytecode. By the Python virtual machine can interpret this code. Interpreter, the interpreter reads and interprets the code generated by the compiler, which is then executed line by line in the read, evaluate, print loop method. Next is computer network. The definition is that the computer network is a set of device connected through links. A node can be computer, printer or any other devices capable of sending or receiving the data. The advantages of computer networks are security, faster problem solving, security through redundancy. Security, it provides the limited interaction that a user can have with the entire system. 
master problem solving is that multiple computers can solve the problem faster than the single machine work. Security throughout redundancy, multiple computers running the same program by the time can provide the security through redundancy. Uh, here are the concepts of computer networks. The type of computer networks are LAN, MAN and WAN, local area network, metropolitan network and wide area network. LAN means only a uh, computer, uh, only a com here computer means a nodes. The nodes are connected through within a few kilometers that is LAN area network. Metropolitan means like uh, more than a LAN and uh, less than a wide area network. And wide area network is that the uh, large uh, distance of uh, nodes are connected together. Uh, net network topology. The no network topology is the arrangement with which uh, computer systems or network devices are connected to each other. Here we have uh, four types of uh, topology, mesh, star, bus and ring topology. Next, network devices. The devices which are used to communicate between different hardware used in computer networks are known as network devices uh, like uh, modem, switch, router, repeater and etc. Next year we have a cloud computing. Definition is that cloud computing means storing and accessing the data and programs on remote services that are hosted on the net internet instead of computer's hardware drive or local server. A cloud computing is also referred as an internet based computing. The types of cloud deployment are uh, public cloud, private cloud, hybrid cloud and community cloud. Uh, cloud computing they, uh, Cloud computing types are based on even services. They are in, uh, IaaS, PaaS, SaaS, infrastructure as a service. A computer infrastructure typically presented in the form of virtualization as a service within the concept of cloud hosting. Next, the platform as a service, uh, an integrated platform for the de development, deployment, testing and support of web applications presented as a service on the basis of the concepts of cloud hosting software as a service this is a business model of the software license which involves the development and support of a software vendor next is uh, information security the definition is that information security is basically the practice of preventing unauthorized access use disclosure disruptions modifications inspections, recording or destructions of information. Uh, the important thing is that the uh, information classification. The main reason of classifying the information is that not all the data has the same level of the importance or same level of relevance to the organization. There are two schemes of uh, information classification, government organization and private organization. Here, here is the criteria for information classification value. It is most common use criteria for classifying data in private sector. If the information is valuable to an organization, it needs to be classified. Next, the age. The in, uh, classification of the information may be lowered if the information value decreases over the time. Next, useful life. Information will, will be more useful if it will be available to make the changes as per requirements then it will be more useful. Next, uh, personal association. If the information is personal associated with a specific in individual or addressed privacy law then it may be, it may need to be classified. That's all for my sense. Thank you. Very good uh, Priyanka, good presentation. Uh, you can keep uh, post uh, this uh, PPT in the... Okay, okay. Sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, give a big round of applause to Priyanka. Next. Yeah, Anusha, please share your screen. Anaya, please share your screen. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, make it full screen. Yes, your screen is visible. First introduce yourself and then explain your question. First of all, about uh, what is cyber security and explain the 
concepts of cyber security. The cyber security definition is uh, like cyber security is the practice of maintaining the computers, servers, mobile devices, electronic systems, networks, and data from malicious attacks. It is also known as information technology security or the electronic information security. It means that we will uh, uh, we will secure our computers uh, and the mobile devices from the attacks or the viruses. Uh, that is about the cyber security definition. Then we will see about the categories of the cyber security. First one is a network security, then the application security, then information security, then the operation security, then disaster recovery and business continuity, and the end user education. Network security uh, tells us about the number of devices which are connected in, in the network. Uh, we have to, uh, they should be. Uh, connected in the manner that they, the data which uh, we will transfer to the, those systems or the devices should be secure. The application security is, tells us about the applications that we are using uh, are uh, secure and authorized one. Then the information security tells us about the data that we are uh, uh, taking or uh, that uh, data we want uh, it should be from the authorized uh, person only. Then the operation security tells us about the, the operations which are going uh, through the networks. Uh, those should be uh, secured one. Then the disaster recovery and business continuity tells us about the, uh, the particular organization uh, should have the uh, backup policy if any uh, attacks happens uh, into the data. Then the end user education tells us about the end users like us uh, which are going to use the application. It should be secure for our system. Then the types of the cyber, <coughs> cyber threats are cyber crimes, cyber attacks and cyber terrorism. These are the three threats which the cyber security uh, everyday faces. Then the uh, then the above threats how the cyber attackers will spread. Like they use the malware like viruses, trojans, and botnet etc. Or they will use the SQL injection or the phishing, farming, or mad in middle attack and denial of services. Through these all, uh, the attacker will uh, attack on our computer systems or, and uh, the data, it will, uh, he will uh, keep the uh, data. Then next, uh, to secure our system from these kind of attack. We have to uh, keep our system update and uh, system and our softwares or our OS that we are using that is operating system. We have to keep them updated and we have to use the antivirus softwares and the strong passwords to keep our system secure. Then uh, we should not click for the links or uh, any mails from the unknown senders and we have to avoid using the unknown networks. Then this is about the cyber security. The next topic is the Python programming and the concepts of Python programming. Mm -hmm. The definition of Python programming is uh, the Python is the object oriented mm -hmm. and persistent mm -hmm. programming language which is easy to learn. Mm -hmm. Hence vastly mm -hmm. used by the software engineers and it contains the number of applications like uh, it has the built-in it is the built-in language features and it has, uh, contains the standard libraries into it. Then uh, it has several data types as integer, floats and uh, double etc. Then it contains the collection of set du 
equals arrays, list, and dictionaries in it, which make this uh, program easy to uh, implement. Then next, uh, the Python programming supports the general mathematical operations, and we can able to do these operations in an easy way, like how we do uh, the day-to-day day-to-day mathematics. Then uh, the sub it supports the looping statements like for and while. Then it contains the number of uh, number of libraries, packages, and APIs and keywords into it, which makes again this uh, language uh, using easy. Then it supports various string functions like strlen, strcpy. Uh, strlen is a string length function. Then strcpy is a string copy function. Then strcmp is a string comparison. Then str str is a string string uh, function, etc. Then the Python contains functions which is organized uh, functions which are the organized uh, reusable block of course and it is begin with the uh, def keyword. Then Python uh, main the main character six of Python is uh, the it is using the classes into it and python classes are one of the feature which make this language more usable uh, as the class is a collection of objects and object is a physical entity or a real time entity which is used uh, then a class is a user defined blueprint or the prototype from which objects are created the classes provide a means of uh, bundling data and functionality together then the class has a syntax as a class as a keyword then followed by a class name then inside class we have to write the statements and the, we have to de define the objects which are what we are going to use then the next concept is a computer networks and the concepts of the computer networks uh, the definition of the computer net networks is as a computer networking refers to interconnected computing devices that can exchange data and share resources with each other. These networked devices use a system of rules called communications protocols to transmit information over physical or a wireless technologies. This is about the computer network definition. Then the computer networks works on a OSI model which contains the seven layers as a physical layer, data link layer, network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation layer and the application layer where the physical layer is the bottommost layer and the application layer is the topmost layer. The physical layer contains the uh, connection, uh, connection between the physical connection between the uh, devices or the network uh, networks and the data in this layer is in the form of bits that is ones and zeros next we have a data link layer where um, uh, in this layer the data is in the form of frames and uh, this has uh, switches in it then uh, it addresses the uh, MAC addresses to the uh, hosts which are using in a network. Then next we have a network layer. It is uh, used to assign the IP addresses and communicate with the different uh, networks. And the data in network layer is in the form of packets. Next we have transport layer and it is the layer which helps uh, the data to be trans transmitted in the form of streams and uh, next layer we have the session layer uh, which helps to connect with the uh, connection establishment with the, the different networks then we have presentation layer where the actual data and decryption happens and the data is 
collected from the application layer and these are the uh, OSI model layers uh, on which the computer network works. Then next we have the types of computer networks as a uh, personal, personal area network, then local area network, then wireless local area network, then metropolitan area network, then wide area network, then storage area network and the virtual private network. Then these are these are the uh, networks which used in a computer network as a personal personal area network is the one where the it is related to a single person and uh, and he only the able to catch that network. Then next we have a local area network uh, which is used a number of uh, devices but at a particular uh, small area. Next we have wireless local area network which is again a type of a local area network but it is wireless like uh, Wi-Fi. Then next we have a metropolitan area network where uh, it is a uh, network where number of devices are connected into it but in a uh, other job the area what, uh, what is it contains is a more than the local area network and less than the wide area network that is the wide area network is the one where the geographical area is more then next is the storage area network which used uh, for the storage of the data then next the virtual private network is the is used for the uh, for to take the data from virtually through the network. Next, uh, the computer network advantages are uh, it helps to share the information effortlessly, then it increases the productivity and efficiency, then it is a cost effective, then storage, it is a, it ha contains the storage efficiency and it is a flexible and the data is secure uh, if it is in the computer network. The next concept is a cloud computing and the concepts of cloud computing. The cloud computing is the delivery of computing services that includes the servers, storage databases, networking, softwares, analytics and the intelligence over the internet that is over the cloud to offer faster innovation, flexible and resources and economic of the scale. So the cloud computing Clouds are uh, cloud computing is uh, contains the four types like public, private, community, and hub hybrid. Where is public cloud is the cloud which is used uh, open to the public. Then next the private cloud is the one which is uh, the private nightmare for the particular organizations or particular uh, person. Then the community cloud is the one where the number of uh, organizations come together and form a community and only they can be able to access the data from this type of cloud. Then hybrid cloud is the one where the above three clouds are uh, where above three clouds are combined and made cloud for the data access. Then next uh, the cloud computing has uh, now three types of services. That is the SaaS, that is a software as a service, then PaaS, the web platform as a service, then IaaS, where infrastructure as a service. Then uh, the cloud computing has a characteristics as it is a on demand, it provides the on demand self service, then uh, it contains the resource pooling, which helps to uh, yeah. use the resources properly. Then it has it is a scalable and a rap, it contains a la, rapid elasticity in it. Then it has a major services and it contains a more security. Then why we should use the cloud computing? As the cloud computing allows uh, you to use or uh, to access the resources or the data or the services and the application from anywhere you want as long as you are connected to the internet. 
if you are not connected to the internet yeah, some tools and the techniques will allow you to access the yeah, cloud whenever it needed then uh, the examples of cloud as uh, aws that is a microsoft aws that is a amazon web service server then the google cloud then dropboxes then hubspot then microsoft azure then ibm cloud and oracle cloud are the uh, some of the famous clouds which are used next question स्लाइड Do it. It is not moving. No, sir. We are here from Delhi. 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 Just uh, escape. Yeah. Now you can move. Yeah. Now it is. Yeah. Now it is moving. Yeah. The last topic is the information security and the concepts of the information security. The definition of the information security is as it protects the sensitive information from the unauthorized activities, including inspection, modification, recording, and any disruption or destruction. The goal is to ensure the safety and privacy of a critical data. such as the customer account details financial data or intellectual property the three principles of the information security are the cia triad that is the confidentiality integrity and availability on which the information security works the other than these the non repudiation authenticity accountability are the other principles which helps to keep our information security condition of training the threats which information security faces nowadays those are the three software attacks and the malware the information security is not only about the securing the information from unauthorized access it is also the information security is basically the practice of the preventing unauthorized access use disclosure disruption modification inspection recording so or destruction of the information information can be physical or yeah. electronic and one the information control can control be control. anything like your details or you we can say your computer. profile on social media your data in mobile phone your biometric etc thus information security mm. spans so many mm. research mm. areas mm. like cryptography mobile computing and cyber forensics mm-hmm. online mm-hmm. social media etc this is about mm-hmm. the information security uh, that's it from from my side thank you for listening very good uh, nayan palkar you have explained very good and uh, you you post uh, this ppt in the group remaining remaining uh, they can understand see why you, you guys are explaining very well for newcomers also please listen carefully still if you are not understanding tomorrow again i will uh, revise all the five ma- six modules so far i have completed then uh, uh, keep on uh, studying and keep on practicing whatever i have explained uh, good nayan palkar uh, give a big round of applause to nayan next candidate who is next candidate is going to explain sir i will share yeah please what is your name sir iram sir ah uh, yeah please share your screen uh whoever newcomers are there please listen all these uh, uh, presentations because the fundamentals they are explaining five modules uh, 
fundamentals they are explaining. Next continuation, again I am giving uh, that five questions including with sixth question network security and followed by the uh, tools and techniques continuation. Yeah, please. Please, uh, uh, yeah. Visible, Yeah, visible. Make it full screen. Munisha. Yeah, make it full screen. Yes. Yeah, introduce yourself and explain the five questions assignment. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, uh, today I will be explaining the five important topics given by sir. Uh, so uh, let's begin. First uh, is uh, what is cyber security? So cyber security was first introduced in 1972 uh, by um, on a research project known as ARPANET that is the Advanced Research Project Agency Network which is in USC precursor to the internet. So cyber security is the practice basically it is used to protect the computers, mobile devices, servers, electronic systems, networks and data from malicious attacks where they can uh, get into our information and uh, uh, get to know the uh, confidential information. So these cyber attacks are usually aimed at accessing, changing or destroying sensitive information and uh, causing a lot of loss, extor extorting money from users. Uh, they can uh, do this in bank servers and uh, take a lot of money from us or interrupting normal business processes. So this way we have to protect our uh, information. So cyber security, are, there are few basic concepts of cyber security. The first one is network security. So in network security, network security refers to a set of rules and configurations to protect the network traffic and data. Then coming to system security, safeguard the system and OS from malicious intrusion, modification and virus. So they will, a virus is a program which they will attach to our system and try to take our uh, confidential information causing a huge loss. Then coming to application security, protects the application from being hijacked. They will be, uh, they have a track of what we are doing uh, uh, when they attach the program to our system. So they will, uh, uh, we have to protect it from getting hijacked. So information security. Information security secures sensitive information from the unauthorized access and prevents misuse, disclosure or destruction of data. Then uh, web security. Protects a web application from security breaches from unauthorized personnel. So unauthorized person cannot enter our web application. So then mobile security protection of all gadgets associated with wireless computing like smartphones, tablets and laptops. Then what is Python? We all know Python is a programming uh, language which has uh, interpreted object oriented and high level language with dynamic semantics. It, uh, it, is, it has built in language features such as it can have variable data type, basic math, operator precedence. Then it has a standard library such as NumPy, SkyPy, Pandas, NLTK, TensorFlow and uh, we know we can uh, code it in two ways like we can use Jupyter, PyCharm, then we can use IDLE and all. And Python programming was first uh, introduced by Gudio Van Rissum. Then a uh, Python can be executed like two ways. One is the IDLE way and another one is the scripting way. Python data types are integers, characters, float, double, etc. Then Python have collections. So few concepts or uh, collections are arrays, lists, sets, tuples and dictionaries. These are the main concepts uh, which are important and basics. So then uh, arrays are used to store multiple values in a single variable. Then we have lists. Lists are used to store multiple items in a single variable using square brackets. Then uh, Python uh, list, list items are ordered, they can be changeable and also can be duplicate values and here we use index system to uh, change the values. 
then we have tuples. Tuples are used to store multiple items in a single variable with round bases. Here we use parentheses. A tuple is a collection which is unchangeable. Mm -hmm. These are not mutable, whereas okay, lists are mutable. Then comes to sets. Sets are used to store multiple items in a single mm -hmm. variable with curly yeah. brackets. A set is a collection which is unordered and is unchangeable. Then, what is Same computer network? Computer network is a set of computers sharing resources located on or provided by the network. Network is a set of computers which are sharing resources located on or provided by the network nodes. The computer security. network refers to interconnected computing devices that can exchange data and share resources with each other. Okay. A computer network, also referred to as a data network, is a series of interconnected nodes that can transmit, receive, and then exchange data, voice, and video traffic. You know, Okay, examples of nodes in a network include servers and modems. Computer networks commonly help endpoint users share and communicate. So in computer networks we also have uh, OSI layers, physical layer, data link layer, network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation layer and application layer. Then what are the two major concepts of networks? Here we have local area networks and wide area networks. Local area networks connect computers and peripheral devices in a limited physical area. So they are they have a limitation. Whereas wide area networks do not have limitations and have wide wider range to access. Then coming to what is cloud computing. Cloud computing is a model for enabling uh, ubiquitous, convenient, on-demand network access. And here in cloud computing, uh, instead of buying, owning, and physical data centers and servers, you can uh, access technology services such as computing power, storage and databases on an as needed basis from a cloud provider like Amazon Web Services also. Cloud infrastructure has a number of key components but are not limited to only server, software network and storage devices. And cloud computing is an internet based computing. Then coming to the concept of cloud computing, here we have private cloud, public cloud and hybrid cloud and many other things. So private cloud, private cloud is uh, which is uh, private to a single organization which is used by only them internally or externally, it is not access to everyone. So for example we can take for private cloud is MS Azure, Salesforce, Amazon S3. Coming to public cloud, public cloud is also known as external cloud which is told, sold to the public. Here the public can access it, there is no uh, any limitation where only uh, so and so person can use it. Public cloud is used by the people. So there is uh, example Google, Gmail or Dropbox where every uh, person can use it. Then coming to hybrid cloud, hybrid cloud is a combination, composition of two or more clouds. Hybrid cloud is a composition uh, where uh, unique entities but are bound together offering the benefits of multiple deployment models. For example, hybrid cloud increases the flexibility also. Example, MS Azure, Salesforce, IBM, Blue Cloud. Then what is information security? Information security is basically, it is used to protect the sensitive information from unauthorized activities including inspection, modification, recording and any other disruption. The goal is to ensure the safety and privacy of critical data such as customer account details, financial data or intellectual property such as like when we go to any shopping mart or anything, we give our phone number for the OTP or for any other offers. So such crucial information about our phone number and other details have to be protected. The main goal in uh, privacy is here. Then information security is basically the practice of preventing, preventing unauthorized access uh, modification and inspection. Information can be physical or electronic one. Concepts are five major elements of confidentiality, integrity, availability, authenticity and non-revidation. So the main focus here is on CIA that is confidentiality, integrity and availability. Confidentiality is controlling who gets to read the information. We cannot allow everybody to read the crucial information we have. And then integrity, assuring that information and programs are changed only in an identified and authorized manner. The availability, assuring that authorized users have continued access to the information and trace. So here I am a presentation. Thank you. Very good, Monis uh, Abegam. You have given wonderful presentation. Uh, next one.
so for today's next one is the last one uh, remaining presentations tomorrow i will take who is the last presentation sushmita sir yeah sushmita please share your screen yes this is the last presentation so tomorrow be ready remaining students you need to present after my explanation uh, then you need to present your uh, five questions assignment please start my screen is visible sir yeah yeah
series of brackets O orders T division M multiplication A addition less is subtraction. And the next question is com uh, what is computer networks and topics of uh, computer networks? A computer network is a set of a computers sharing the resources located on a on or provided by the network nodes. Computer networking refers to interconnected computer devices that can exchange the data and share the resources with each other. A computer network, also referred to as a data network, is a series of interconnected nodes that can transmit, re transmit receive and exchange the data, voice and video of traffic. Examples of nodes in a network include a server or modems, Computer networks commonly help endpoint users share resources and communicate with each other. And the two basic network types are local area networks and wide area networks. And the and layers of the OSI model. These are principal layer, data link layer, network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation layer, and application layer. The first one is physical layer. Transmits a raw bit stream over the physical medium and the second data link layer. It defines the format of a data on the network. And the third one network layer decides which physical path the data will take. And the transmit uh, transport layer transmits the data using transmission transmission protocols including a TCP and UDP. And the session layer maintains a connections and it's responsible for controlling the ports and sessions. And the sixth one is presentation layer. It ensures that data is usable for is in a usable format and is where data encryption occurs. And the seventh one is human com application layer. The application layer is a human computer interaction layer where applications can access the network services. And the next question is what is cloud computing and Concepts of cloud computing. Cloud computing is a model for enabling a ubiquitous, convenient, on-demand network access to share pool of configurable computing resources that can be rapidly provisioned and released with a minimal management effort or service provider interaction. The cloud computing is a internet-based computing derived from a depiction in a network diagram that is TCP/IP. And cloud, cloud is an internet-based development of applications and services. Cloud computing is a multi-tenant architecture, and the cloud computing is having a 543 formula. That means five, it is having a five characteristics: four infrastructure models and three major services. The cloud computing is a form of distributed computing. The heart of the cloud computing is data center and virtualization. Let's on to the cloud computing concepts. The first one is cloud characteristics. Those are on-demand self-service, broad network access, resource pooling, rapid elasticity, and measured services. The on-demand self-service is, is a customers can automatically provision computing capabilities and resources on their own when needed without necessitating any human intervention. And the broad network access are accessing the capabilities are available over the network through the standard devices such as cell phones, laptops, pad, etc. And the resource pooling, resource such as network bandwidth, virtual machines, memory, processing power, storage capacity, etc. are pooled together to serve multiple customers using the multi-tenant model. And the rapid elasticity. Depending on the demand, the resources and capabilities can be quickly and automatically deployed and scaled at any quantity and at any time. And the measured services are is a reference to service where the cloud provider measures or monitors the provision of services for various reasons, including billing, effective use of resources, or overall predictive planning. And next comes to there are four types of cloud deployment models. The public, private cloud, public cloud, hybrid cloud, and community cloud. The private cloud is also known as the internal cloud and enterprise owned or a leased. As its name depicts, it is a 
private cloud. It, uh, only the private infrastructure members are used is. And the public cloud. Next. The public cloud is also known as external cloud and is sold and is sold to a public in a mega scale infrastructure. Example for is Google's Gmail. And next is hybrid cloud. Hybrid cloud is a composition of two or more clouds. In a hybrid cloud is a composition of two or more clouds like a private, public or a community clouds are included in this. Examples are MS Azure, Salesforce and IBM Google. And the next one is community cloud. Community cloud is also known as an external cloud and a shared infrastructure for specific community. The examples of com uh, community cloud is health cloud and e-governance cloud and social networks. And the next topic is cloud computing services. There are three services of cloud computing. First one is software as a service, SaaS, platform as a service, PaaS, infrastructure as a service, IaaS. Whereas software as a service is software development model, whereby a provider license and an application to customers for use as a service on demand. And the platform as a service, PaaS, optimized IT and developer tools offered to the platform as a service for database and testing environments as infrastructure as a service, on-demand, highly scalable computing storage and hosting services. And the next is information, uh, next question is what is information security and concept of information security. The information security is broad field that covers many areas such as physical security, endpoint security, data encryption and network security. It is also closely related to information assurance which protects information from threats such as natural disasters and server failures. And the next is types of information security. There are nine types of information security. First is application security, data security, network security, cloud security, cryptography, infrastructure security and incident response, vulnerability management, event logging and change monitoring. With this, I'll end my PPT. Thank you and thank you for listening. Yeah, very good. Yeah, very good explanation, Sushmita. Uh, keep it up and uh, we will enhance uh, these five questions and uh, next week uh, I am giving one more question, network security. That time question changes like you can uh, include uh, question, uh, question is uh, what is cyber security and explain tools and techniques. In the same PPT you can include uh, two more slides for tools, uh, one, one slide for tool, one, one slide for techniques. Like that I will enhance next week. So remaining students please explain tomorrow up to Friday. I will give you a chance for newcomers also. Take the assignment and tomorrow again I am going to explain the old topics then I will take presentations. Okay. And uh, today uh, five students they have explained very good. I am expecting more uh, uh, information from uh, remaining students. Uh, keep it up and uh, we will meet tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, don't leave the session. Just wait for two minutes. Don't leave the session.